Vanessa Joy here for Adorama TV and today we're going to play with Profoto's brand new OCF lighting modifiers. So let's jump into what we've got in the bag. Now these lighting modifiers are for the shapes of like the Profoto B10, B10 Plus, you could use it on the B1s. It's not for the A1s and it's not uh, for the C1 or C1 Plus. So that's what we're working with. They're modifications to what we previously had and I think you're gonna be really, really happy with them. I know, I certainly am. So first up, here's what we've got. They all come in nice little bags. All right, so we've got barn doors here. Now the speed ring is what you would expect. You've got your, you know, easy on, easy off. Nice soft rubber around the edges. And then this is your typical barn door. Now on the inside here, this is magnetic, which will make sense why in just a second. Next up, our second little bag of goodies. We've got a collapsible snoot. Look at this. Woo, takes a second to come out, but check that out. And it's collapsible, so it fits really nicely in your bag. Uh, the few times I've taken this in and out, uh, it's just you kind of just like shove it in there and then it reshapes itself. So, OCF snoot. And then finally, and if you know anything about me, you know this is my personal favorite, modifying the gels here for OCF use. Now, the previous versions, you just had gels that you would kind of stick in and the little holder was kind of off and annoying, but now we have this attached to a speed ring and this is magnetic. So we have grids and we have gels. Right now I have a half and a full CTO gel uh, and they're pretty easily stackable. And then of course, pretty easy, goes right in there. So really cool, just makes things a little bit more convenient, makes things go faster, which I'm a big fan of, always shooting weddings and needing to be on my toes, moving around a lot. And then of course, the added benefit of having a snoot, which is something I never use because it's typically cumbersome to bring in a bag. Now I'm gonna use it, we're gonna give it a try. So let's go. All right, so the first thing I wanna try is the barn doors. I wanna photograph these two lovelies right on the wall here. And I don't want light spill on the actual wall, but I want my light there because I want a more dramatic angle. You know, I don't wanna light the wall. I just wanna light my subject and maybe light my subject vertically from top to bottom. So that's when this barn door will come in handy. So we're gonna go maybe something right around here. And you know what? I'll hone this in too so I don't get as much light spill on the ground. All right, so I'm going to shoot this with the Canon EOS R. I've got my 20 to 72.0 lens. That looks really good. Same thing, just look down at her hand and then look at her nose, which is your favorite thing to do, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just show you what it looked like if I didn't have the barn door and let me open it up so you can see what kind of control it gives you. So you put those two side by side, you can see that I've definitely controlled the light spill. Now let's see what this will look like with a snoot. We can switch these up. So that's durable. Wow. No, that's gonna be a project. No, it's not a project. It's just a matter of finagling it. So they popped off, they popped on. Now for all of you people who throw your gear around, now you know <laughs> it's gonna be okay. We'll just toss that back over there. With a snoot, you have to be very, very direct in where you are pointing it because it's a very narrow beam of light. You can use your modeling light and turn it on to help see where you're pointing your light. So I'm actually gonna switch over to high speed sync because I wanna take down my ambient light completely and I've got enough battery power to be in high speed sync, so I'm okay. Cool. So now I've created something really dramatic, just lighting their faces, not everything around them. And the snoot definitely helping me doing that. All right, let's get to my favorite thing so we can really play gels. Now there are grids here. I'm not gonna use these for the most part. You know what grids do. I want to use these gels. Now I have a full and half CTO gel here stacked. Those are strong magnets. I pinched my finger in it before. Try not to do that, it really hurts, <laughs> all right? And then we're gonna go ahead and plop the magnets right in there. So definitely a little bit more handy than the flimsy, which right now would be blowing away in the wind gels. Now the snoot doesn't collapse too gracefully, but you just kind of like shove it in there and it forms itself pretty nicely. All right, so here we go. Got my golden sunshine that I love so much. Uh, and this will be nice because we're going to use this just as their backlight, which will allow them to move around a whole lot more. 
So when I light with the backlight, I'm getting a natural light exposure for the front of their faces. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. I'm going to get myself at a high speed sync because I want to shoot a lot faster. I want faster recycle times. Cute. Alina, look at me. Love it. Go ahead, turn in towards each other and just wrap your arms around each other. All right, let me just switch to my 135 so I can get my favorite little hazy glow out of this. Now I am using the adapter because my 135 lens is an EF lens and I need an RF mount. The adapter is absolutely perfect, works flawlessly. Love it. And then don't move anything, Alina, just your eyes to me. Perfect. Make sure that you download my free posing inspiration guide. We could all use some inspiration. Get that in the link below with lots of ideas on how to pose groups and individuals. All right, so I hope that gave you a nice rounded overview of the new Profoto OCF light modifiers and what you can do with them. I've been Esther Joy here for Adorama TV. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and I'll see you next time.